It is a very good idea to use the emulator to check your code. You just open the emulator from the main panel of GIDRA and then if you have written some code you can simply test it in emulator. On the right side you see the registers. I have selected the registers to be visible so T registers and A registers are altered in this portion of the code. So we will see how it works. If something is changed on the right side will be presented as a red, red color. The value here will be presented as a red color. We use F8 to move forward or we can just click the button at the top. So see, the value 7B is loaded into register D3. Then 3 is loaded into the register D4. Now we will multiply D4 by value 0x 64 hexadecimal, which is 100. OK, so this is ready. And now we will just multiply that again by 20, which is represented by 0x14. The result is now in D4. Nope means do nothing. Yes, here is 1770, of course it is a hex value. Alright, now we start to loading the address register, A5. The top half will be loaded with the value D001. As you see, D001 and then four zeros. It is 32-bit register. Now we are losing Leah to shift the bottom part of this registry by 2, 3, 4, 5. So this fills the bottom part. Address is ready. Now we are completing another address using a negative argument for Leah. We are loading D002 instead of D001 because we are subtracting. Okay, so now we have the result we want, D001, 9ABC. But the Leah can be used many times, not only once, because it's shifting, not overwriting the bottom part. So now I try to load this again, but I divide the value, which is impossible to be loaded at once by Leah, shifted by Leah, because it's over 7FFF, which is the highest value possible for Leah. And using uh, two Leahs, I just uh, fill the uh, bottom part of the IA5 registry receiving exactly the same result like uh, the first try. Okay, use the emulator, it is worth of it.